Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube learning channel, Accurate, ASME, ISO. We bring you, 50 plus years of organizational experiences, through these videos. Please subscribe the channel to regularly receive, such knowledgeable videos. In this video, let us understand the important metrology term, thermal expansion of coefficient. Ok, let's start. Everyone must have been experienced, in their lifetime, that a glass either got cracked, or broken after filled with, extreme hot milk into it. Similarly, it is most common in rural areas, the doors of houses are built with wood. After few seasons, a common problem occurs, of closing the door with locking arrangements. Mostly it became tight or very tight. Few more examples are. Expansion joints in bridges. Expansion joints in railways. Behind all these effects, what is the science? Temperature. Yes. Thermal effect. Yes. All the material is composed of atoms and molecules. When the temperature is raised, all the atoms start moving apart from each other. They get separated with specific distances. The separation is directly proportional to the change in temperature. Because of this the size of the material changes with respect to change in the temperature. This is called material expansion. Also reverse is true. If temperature is decreased, size is also contracted. This change in amount per degree is very small. Suppose, this iron bar, is 1 meter in length, or 1000 millimeters. This bar, if heated and suppose, the temperature is increased, by 1 degrees Celsius. Because of the effect, as discussed, the length of this bar, increases by amount of 11.6 microns. It means, Steel material, expand by 11.6 microns, per degrees, per meter length. This change, or, increase in length, is called as, thermal expansion coefficient of material. The amount of change, in every material, is different per every degree Celsius and per every meter length. It is denoted by Greek letter alpha. Some of the materials expansion coefficients are aluminium 23.6 microns per degree per meter. Steel is 11.6 microns per degree per meter.